welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today we are so excited to be introducing our brand new set, Would You Be Mine and its coordinating dies. So let's go ahead and check it out. This set is so super cute and it has this really adorable standing beaver. And then here we have more of a sitting style. Then we have these two little guys that are holding on to a heart. We have a stump with a heart in it. And we have a large log and a smaller log. And these are great for setting scenes. We also have some other scene building elements. We have these cattails and then also some individual grasses. We also have like a little branch with some leaves, which is super cute to have them hold. And then an individual leaf in both an open and solid style that is really nice for putting onto the logs. There's also a little bow that could be a hair tie or a hair bow, a little card that they can hold, and this trio of hearts that is so sweet. We also have these little water lines and this is great for adding texture into water around your cute scenes with these beavers. And then there's a little tiny heart and a little tiny smiley face that are perfect for putting on that little handmade card that the beavers can hold. There's some really sweet phrases that can fit inside the heart that those two beavers are holding, and that's Would You Be Mine and Happy Valentine's Day. And then in the tree stump, there is an I Heart You and also a You Plus Me that's my favorite that you can put into that heart. Then we have some great sentiments. We have Have a Damn Good Day, which always makes me laugh. I Choose You, Miss You a Log, Would You Be Mine, of course. And then we also have Happy Heart Day. Now I'm going to use my Copic markers to add some color to these adorable images. I also think these would be really sweet watercolored or colored in with colored pencils. And this is a really fun time to play around with all of your different brown markers. And there you can see I added my darkest marker there at the shading. And then I'm working down these markers kind of blending out. And I want to keep the center of this little beaver really light so that he has like a nice contrast between the shading and then the lighter markers. And I think he's just looking so cute. You can see that I also added a little bit of that dark dark marker kind of where his chin would be and it really makes him look almost three-dimensional and he is just so sweet. When it comes to the beavers and their tails, you can either stay in the same color family or you can do something contrasting. So in this case, I'm going to stay in the same color family, but in a little bit, I'll show you a contrasting color between these two. Now this set is a Valentine's Day set and it is so cute for Valentine's Day. But what I love about it is that it has so much longevity with the sentiments that are included in it, or you could even use sentiments in your stash. Like these would be adorable on a birthday card too. So I love that this is just a fun critter that we've added to the Lawn Fawn family. And it's actually the first time we ever have a beaver stamp. So I'm really excited to have a brand new critter that can, can either hang out together or you could even mix and match them with some previous kind of woodland critters that you might have in your stash. So there you'll see I gave him some rosy cheeks because I think that's always just so cute in these. And now I've switched to a different shade of brown markers. So before it was E30s and now we're going to do some E40s. And there's really no right or wrong. It's always going to look super, super cute. I have a tendency to put the shading towards the outside and then the lighter part towards the middle because I feel like it makes them look like really poofy and just kind of like chunky. It's just so adorable and so sweet. And so here you'll see just to have something a little bit different, the beavers above, we use the same exact markers. For these ones, I'm I'm using the same color family, but I'm going to have one of them be a little bit darker and one of them be a little bit lighter just to have some nice contrast. Another thing that's really fun that you can do with these guys is you can leave like a little white belly and that looks really, really cute too. Now here you can see where we're going to do some contrasting colors for their tails. And this is kind of like a reddish brown, which looks really, really pretty. And I think that's a really fun look too. So once again, you can kind of play around and see what's going to look cutest on your card. Now for this little heart in the center, I like to color it in a bright pink for Valentine's Day, but I also think it would be really cute to color it in some light brown so that it kind of looked like a heart that was maybe cut out of wood. I think that would be really, really sweet as well. Now to kind of coordinate with the beavers that we just did, I'm going to use the E40 markers again for these wooden logs. And what I like to do on these wooden logs is you'll see they have the little like stripes, the little lines that are making it look like wood grain. I like to take my darkest marker and just follow along those lines. And then I take the lighter markers and just kind of go over it as I'm filling in the log. And it kind of blends it out, but it gives it this really, really nice texture without having to do too much crazy shading. Then for this log here, I did something a little bit different. I just added my darker marker towards the outside and then I'm blending it out with medium and then into light in the center. And I'm just letting the light marker there let those wood grain stamp lines shine through. And that looks really, really cool too. So it's just lots of different ways to practice coloring these. And I have to tell you, I have such a blast coloring these images in. It is so much fun. I don't know what it is, but this might be one of my most favorite critters to color. 
So here I'm using a nice bright green for all of the greenery and then some browns there for the cattails and that little branch and then that nice bright pink there for some of the cute little hearts and accessories. These are the coordinating dies for the set which you can bend apart at the tabs or use your wire snips to separate and you may notice that these are brand new wire snips that are going to be coming out on December 15th along with this stamp set so that's really exciting too. And then here you can see you could take those dies, you can line them up with your stamped images, hold it in place with some low tack tape, run it through your die cut machine and then you'll have perfectly cut out images every time that are so super cute and ready to put on your card. Here is a look at all of the images in the set. And then here are some ways that you can mix and match them. So that little guy there could hold the branch. This one can sit on top of the log and you can use the grasses and cattails to help set your scene. This one holding the card is so cute and you can even layer that tiny little heart right onto the front of the card. And that just makes me smile that he has his very own handmade card too. You can add the little leaves there to the logs and then you can add the little hair bow and put some hearts and oh my goodness, it is just so cute. And right now we are gonna start off by creating a slimline card that with created originally by Grace and oh my goodness this card is so much fun and so gorgeous and we're going to be showing you a ton of the other products that are going to be coming out in this release too. So here we have one of the scallop slimline dies and I'm just using some post-it note tape to mask off the edges and I'm just lining it up right with the stitching and that's going to protect that pretty little scalloped lacy border on the outside but still allow me to do some inking on the inside part of this die cut. We're gonna take out the Slimline Cloudy Stencil, and this stencil is so cool. It has different styles clouds on the top and the bottom, and we're gonna be playing around with those. So we're gonna line that up with the top of the card and then take out some Tattered Rose Distress Oxide ink, which is a really nice, almost like apricot-y, pinky color. And we're gonna ink right onto the stencil and then lightly onto the card, kind of going over the stencil. And you'll see as we remove the stencil, we have this really cool cloud line. So now we're gonna flip it around and work with the other half of the stencil, which is gonna give us another poofy cloud that looks a little bit different. So we're gonna line that up, and then we're gonna ink onto the stencil and then over onto the paper to create that really cool cloud line. Now to get some different styles of clouds, I'm actually going to end up cleaning off the stencil and flipping it over because that's gonna give me the clouds kind of going in the opposite direction. So now I've flipped it over and we're gonna have another look. So there's kind of like four styles of clouds just on this one stencil. Now in the Slimline Cloudy Stencil, there are two of them and one of them has kind of like smaller poofs, but I just wanted the big poofy clouds for the sky in this background. So we're just gonna keep inking it up and we're gonna have this beautiful pink sky that is is perfect for any Valentine's card and I want to do this on almost every Valentine's card that I make. Next I'm going to peel up that post-it note tape and I just love doing this. So now you can see we've got the pink sky but we have that white scalloped edge all the way around the card. Now next up here is some wood grain cardstock in the white and we're going to be die cutting this brand new build a cabin die out of this white wood grain and I love it because it gives it that wood texture for the cabin just with the cardstock alone. Then we're going to be cutting some of the little extra elements out of some of the brown wood grain so it's kind of a nice mixture between the white and the brown to create this cabin. Now the cabin has this cool little door and there's a little score line there and we're gonna fold along that score line so that that door can kind of like open and close. And then I'm just gonna take some pink markers and we're gonna color in this door pink. So I'm just using some R30 markers and adding a nice detail right onto my die cut with my markers. Once I've colored in the door, I'm just gonna add some color to the little kind of outside edge to make sure the whole thing looks finished. And then here we have this little frame for the door and we're gonna layer that on with that same wood grain cardstock, but instead of the white color, we're gonna be using one of the light brown colors. And you'll see that I just love the look of this white log cabin with the brown details. And coming up soon tomorrow, we're gonna have our intro to build a cabin video and we'll be showing you how to create lots of different styles of cabin in that video too. So now we have our roof line and now we're going to put on our little window frames here. And then we're going to add some detail to these other die cuts. So some of them we've die cut out of some ballet slipper cardstock. And so I'm just going to take a marker that kind of matches another light pit marker and just add a little bit of shading around the edges of both the top of the chimney and the heart. And you'll see by just adding that little line of marker, it really gives the die cut this extra special look. 
And then for this chimney, it has some cool kind of brick details in it. And so what we're gonna do is just take a light gray marker and we're just gonna fill in around all of those little bricks. There's almost like these little stitching lines and you can just color that right in. And so it's gonna look like white bricks with a little bit of that gray detail and it looks just so beautiful. And then we can layer the little pink part on top, which is just gorgeous. Now there's these little lamps that come in the set and we're gonna have the lamps go above the windows. And so these were die cut out of some white cardstock and we're just gonna add some detail with that same gray marker that we use for the chimney so that everything kind of coordinates. The little lamps also have a little light bulb that you can layer inside. It is just too cute. So we're gonna layer that little light bulb right into both of those lamps. Next up, there's this little hanging piece, which you can either hang the heart from, or there's also this cute little sign that's included in the die set too. And so we're gonna layer that little heart right on to that hanging sign. And then we can add some liquid glue and start layering these onto the cabin. And this cabin is super cute on its own, but what I really love is using it with the Would You Be Mine stamp set that we're featuring today. So it's gonna be really, really cute to add those beavers that we colored earlier in to this cabin. Now to fill in behind the windows and door, we're gonna be using some vellum. So I just have a little scrap piece here. I'm gonna layer it behind and then just easily trim with my scissors just like that, cause it can be messy, no one's ever gonna see. And then we'll add some tape runner to the back of the cabinet and then layer that right over the vellum. And that's gonna give the look of glass through the window and the doors, which looks so, so cool. The next step that we're gonna do is add some white gel pen details. And this just always looks so cute. And so I'm adding some little lines and little dots or little curves on the curved images like the lamps and the heart. Um, and it just adds an extra special little detail to this cabin. And oh my goodness, this might be the cutest little log cabin I have ever seen. So now we're gonna put the log cabin aside and here is our sky and now we have to create our ground. And so I've cut down a piece that's gonna fit right in between those stitching lines so that that white scallop is still gonna stay white. And we're gonna use the new heart garden border to create this really cute little grass. So this is not a slim line length, but that's okay. We're going to line up the die and make it work. So here you'll see we're gonna line it up with the edge hold it in place with some low tack tape and run it through the die cut machine and now we'll have some of our heart garden border die cut and then I'm just going to take that last little heart and line it up with the last heart that the other one cut you can kind of almost just like fit it right in and then you can hold it in place with your tape and run it through the die cut machine and now you're going to have one nice long border that's going to have those cute little hearts on top Next, we're gonna add some color to this. And I have to tell you, I realized I probably should have inked up a piece of cardstock and then die cut it. So I had to be really, really gentle around the little heart-shaped flowers there. But then once I got back down to the grass, it was easier to blend in. And so we're gonna have it darker towards the top and lighter towards the bottom. And I'm using the cracked pistachio color so that it's a little bit more of a minty color to go along with our pink sky. Now the heart garden border has large hearts and small hearts and so we're going to die cut those out of three different shades of cardstock. We have guava, ballet slippers, and apricot and these three together are a perfect Valentine's combo. Now here I'm playing around to kind of see what arrangement that I want for all of my different flowers. And then we're gonna add some shading to these pieces, just like we added some shading to the pieces on the log cabin. So I went through my stash, I held up my piece of cardstock to my markers and I found a marker that was the same color as the cardstock and I'm just adding like a little curved line around the edge. And I did that for all three of these colors. And you'll see that as we add that little curved line, it makes those die cuts look almost three dimensional and it's gonna help them blend in with our ink blended grass and ink blended sky too. And then now we can start to layer on the flower. So I'm gonna add a little drop of liquid glue and then I'm gonna pick it up with a jewel picker and then layer each heart down across this. And you'll notice that in the center, I'm missing two hearts. That's okay, cause they're gonna end up being covered up by the cabin. So I didn't go ahead and die cut other ones cause I knew those would end up being covered up anyways. And then we're gonna add some little white gel pen curve lines to go along with the white gel pen lines that we added to the cabin earlier. And is this not the cutest thing you've ever seen? I mean, this right here with a sentiment would be a perfect card. It's so cute and so fun. And I think my favorite new Valentine's combo. 
Now, next up, we're gonna take out Finley's ABCs, which is an oldie but a goodie die set and one of my favorite alphabet die sets. And we are going to spell out the word you, Y-O-U. And that's going to be finishing up a sentiment that says, I choose you. And what we did was we die cut the wood grain cardstock that we use for the log cabin, we die cut those letters. And then I'm gonna use the same markers that I used to color in the door to color in the letters. And that's gonna help kind of tie all of these different shades of pink together. So I have a dark, medium, and light and I'm going to have darkest towards the bottom of the letters and then lightest towards the top and they're just going to look so beautiful these nice little kind of gradient letters. Next, I'm gonna take these letters and layer them onto the card. I also layered the cabin there because I wanna do my stamping before I start gluing anything down. And I'm actually getting kind of nervous to do the stamping at this point because I'm like, oh, I should have done it earlier because now I've got all these different pieces, but that's okay. So we're gonna take out the I choose you stamp in the stamp set and we're actually just gonna cut the U off. And that's okay because now we can use it separate or together. And when you wanna use them together, you can just butt them up against each other and stamp it out, I choose you. Or now we've got the I choose and then the U is die cut. Now here is when I started realizing that you could see those heart-shaped flowers through the windows. And that was kind of strange because there wouldn't be the flowers inside the house, right? So I just went ahead and started pruning my flowers. And I actually kept these little flowers because they're really cute and I might use them on another project. I think it would look cute for the beavers to be holding those little flowers. And so now when I layer the cabin over top, I don't see the flowers through the windows anymore. So I'm gonna add some tape runner to the bottom of that and then layer that into the scene. And then I'm gonna add some foam squares to the back of this cabin and then layer the cabin on with foam squares so that it just gives this nice pop on the card and then that field of flowers is kind of in the background. And then now that the stamping's done and we've layered the cabin on, we can now layer those letters on. So I'm just gonna add some tape runners to those and then we'll finish up that sentiment, which is looking so super cute. And then to help tie those letters into everything else that we've done, we're once again gonna take the white gel pen out and we're gonna add little lines and dots and little curves along the curved edges of the U and the O so that everything is kind of blending in together. Now here is that tree stump that we colored and die cut earlier and I'm gonna stamp the you plus me in that heart and oh my goodness, how cute is that? Then I'm gonna go ahead and take out some of those other images that we colored in. So we've got the cute little beavers and then we've got our big log and the smaller log. And then I've also got some cute little hearts as well and some other little accessories that we're gonna be adding to the card. So now we're gonna take that cute little card that the beavers can hold and we're gonna stamp a heart on it and then add a little bit of color. And I just love that obviously these cute critters are also into card making just like us. It's so super cute and so sweet. So I'm just gonna add a little color to that heart and that is going to be perfect for adding onto the card. So I'm gonna add some of these tree stumps here with some tape runners so that they're kind of, some things are in the background and some things are in the foreground. So that little tree stump's in the background. And then I'm gonna add that cute little handmade card um, and a little bow onto this beaver. And then this one is gonna be coming out of the log cabin, which is gonna look so adorable. So I love that that door can open just a little bit and it gives this the opportunity to kind of give this fun little motion of the beaver coming out of the house and giving a handmade card to his friend. And then here we're gonna add that little log there with tape runner and then we're gonna add this beaver there with some foam squares. And then a few more little details to finish out the card. We're gonna add the smaller log and then a piece of grass there kind of layered right behind. And then we're gonna add the little trio of hearts there. So the die actually die cuts the trio into a pair of hearts and a single heart, and I'm just gonna use the pair. And then now, of course, so that everything coordinates, we're gonna take that white gel pen line and we're gonna add the white gel pens to these cute little beavers. And so what I'm gonna do is just follow different curves and add little curve lines or add tiny little dots. And it's just gonna look so gorgeous and tie everything in together. Now, next up, we are gonna create a card base for this card. Um, and so that's gonna be three and a half, or three by eight and a half. And then we're gonna add some tape runner to that. And then we can layer that on to the back of this card. And we're gonna have this beautiful slimline card that you can mail with standard postage that would make anybody's day. It's so cute for Valentine's. It's really so cute for all year long. And I love this scene so much. It just makes me smile. 
Now this card was a fun, more complicated card to make, and now we're gonna make a simple card. So here we have a standard size, five and a half by four and a quarter piece of pink spiffy speckles paper. And then we're gonna take the nitpicky winter paper and we're gonna actually use the green from that to be a grass, which is a really fun way to use up some of winter paper for Valentine's. And I feel like the knit just gives some cozy Valentine's vibes. So we're gonna die cut that with a simple hillside border. And then we're gonna add some tape runner onto that and then layer that on to our really pretty pink sky. And by using pattern papers, this makes this quick and easy to do. And to continue to help set the scene, we're gonna use a brand new die that I absolutely adore. And that is our heart garland backdrop. And this is in the landscape style. So we're gonna die cut that out of some white cardstock. And the die has these little hearts that you can die cut. You can see them here. You can die cut a bunch all at once. And we're gonna be die cutting that from some guava cardstock. And you'll see here now we have a bunch of hearts and we're gonna layer those guava hearts right onto this backdrop. So we're gonna add little drops of liquid glue and then we can just use a little jewel picker here to pick up each of those hearts and layer them on. And oh my goodness, does this look adorable. So we're gonna keep layering on these hearts and filling in this beautiful backdrop. Then we're gonna layer that backdrop right over that background that we created earlier. So we're gonna add some tape runner all along the frame and then we can layer right on there and you can see just how cute this is. And it's the perfect frame for our cute little duo of beavers that are holding the heart. So it's just gonna be perfect in the center of this. But before we add those guys on there, we're gonna do some stamping and we're gonna be taking out this adorable Simply Celebrate Heart set and it has a happy Valentine's Day sentiment. And so we're gonna layer that onto the card and then stamp it down with our Misty tool so that we can get it exactly in the center of the card. Then we're gonna take out the Would You Be Mine stamp set and those cute little duo beavers that we colored and stamped and die cut earlier. And we're going to add one of the sentiments into the heart. And we're gonna be adding the Would You Be Mine right into the heart, which is so cute and it works so well with our Happy Valentine's Day sentiment. Then we're gonna add some foam squares to the back of this image and layer it onto the card. And then our last step is to create a standard size card base at five and a half by four and a quarter. We'll add some tape runner to that. We're gonna layer on our card Card, and this card is all done and so super cute. I just love those cute little beavers. I love how we can stamp the, in the heart in the center and that heart garland just creates the perfect little backdrop for these adorable guys. Next up, Shari is gonna create the cutest scene for these Would You Be Mine beavers. So take it away, Shari. So on my card today, I'm creating a little scene. I'm using some spiffy speckles as my sky, some cilantro cardstock for my grass, and then the peacock is going to be kind of the edge of the water or the pond where the little beavers are living. So I've cut my background piece to four and a quarter by five and a half. And then on this peacock piece, I'm just using a pencil to kind of trace a squiggly line that's going to be the edge of my pond. I didn't have a die that was the shape that I wanted, so this is just a really easy way to make a little curve that works with the way I wanted to lay out my scene. So I'm just cutting that with my scissors along that pencil line, and then I'll just take an eraser and erase the pencil marks. Now for the grass, I'm going to layer the pond over top and that'll kind of dictate where to put my grass. So I'm just using the grassy border die. I'll hold that in place and run it through my die cut machine. And you can see how these two are going to layer together. Now I did feel like it was slightly too tall, so I'm just going to cut off a little bit of that grassy panel and that will make it a little bit shorter. And before I start to glue things together, I want to ink the edges of these die cuts a little bit. So I'm using some Lucky Clover Distress Oxide on the green grass. And then I'm using some peacock feathers on the peacock cardstock. I actually felt like this didn't show up as much as I wanted it to. So you're going to see me ink this up and then decide I need something a little darker. So I pulled out some Uncharted Mariner. And then I'm going to ink that up with something darker. And I like how this kind of gives you two different tones of blue. So that matches the look that we have on the grass with the two different shades of green. So once I have that looking the way I want, I am going to stamp my sentiment. And for this card, I'm using the I Choose You sentiment. And I'm just going to stamp that to the bottom right corner. 
And then I'm going to go back in with the Uncharted Mariner Distress Oxide and stamp some of those little wavy water lines around to show that this is water or this is our little pond. There's three different sizes of these, so I'm just varying the ones I'm using and where I'm stamping them. Now I can start to assemble my scene and my background pieces. So I'll start with that spiffy speckles piece and apply that to the front of a card base. Then I will add my grass, putting that right onto the spiffy speckles piece. And then for my pond, I'm going to use some foam tape so that it is popped up just a little bit. So I'll just line up the bottom straight edge of all these pieces. And then I have my little scene started. Now I can bring in my stamped images and I'm going to start by putting this cute little beaver on top of that big log. And you can see there how I've kind of started to lay out my scene on the card. I'm also adding the little bow that comes in this set to this little beaver's head. And then this is going to sit on that right side, right above the pond in the grass. For my other beaver, I am going to use some foam squares and pop that one up so it's popped up from the background beaver a little bit. I also am using some foam squares on this little piece of wood that he's nibbling on. And then I also have a little piece of grass that I'm going to add a little foam square to to kind of complete the trio of images on the left side of the card. Now I have two of these cattails and one I'm going to pop up on some foam so that it can be in the water since the water is popped up as well. So it'll look like it is growing out of the water. And then for the other one, I'm going to tuck it in behind that log. So you're not going to see the bottom of it and it'll make it a little bit taller than it would have been because you can't see the bottom and it gives it a little more height. I also have the cute little hearts from the stamp set and I'm going to add those above the little girl beaver's head. And then I have some stitch clouds from the Spring Showers die set. I'm using the medium sized cloud and the small cloud to help fill in the sky. I've just glued that larger of the two directly to the background and then I'll use some foam squares for the small one to pop it up and give it some dimension. I also have this little twig and I just thought it would be really cute if she was holding that little twig. Having a little snack. <laughs> now I wanted to add some glitter of course so I'm adding it to the hearts the little twig the cattails I'll also add a line of glitter to the edge of the pond or the water and then I will add some to the tops of my clouds so to finish things off, I am using a black glaze pin to add a shiny black look to their noses and their eyes. So just a little dot on her eyes and then some on each of their noses. And this just really kind of gives them that nice shiny nose. And then I also added some white details with my white gel pin. Just a few little highlights here and there just on the beavers. And then here is my finished card. I just think these little beavers in this stamp set are so cute to make little scenes with. I love how you can add the bow and make it into a little girl or you could make it a bow tie, which is really fun too. And I really love how that glitter on the water's edge catches the light. This card is just too cute, Shari. And next up, we're gonna take a look at some incredible cards by the design team. And first up, we have a beautiful card by Audrey. I just love the scene that she created and that stitched windy backdrop is gorgeous for this. This card by Megan could not be more fun. I love that she created an adorable snow globe for these really sweet Would You Be Mine critters. This card by Elise makes me smile. I love her custom sentiment, so sweet and so cute. And it's perfect for any time of the year. And then this card by Callie is so great. I love that she used the Bayou backdrop upside down to create a cool scene for the beavers.
I love how Maureen created pink birch trees and also used those cute stitch den dies to create an adorable scene for these fun critters. And then these little gift bags by Anea could not be sweeter and she used a brand new hot foil plate in these too. Here we have an adorable card by Kara and I love how she layered the bayou backdrop and the heart garland backdrop. They're so cool together. This card by Elena is so sweet. I love the heart in the background of this adorable scene. And then here is the adorable card by Grace that inspired us to make ours today. Oh my goodness, I just can't get over how fun this is. This card by Mindy is adorable and I love that she used the lots of heart stencil in the background. It looks amazing. And then here I love those cute little bunting borders in the top of this sweet card by Melissa Mann. And then I love how Letitia used a purple sky and a purple color palette for this. I think it's so beautiful and fun for Valentine's Day. So we cannot wait to see what you guys do with Would You Be Mine? So make sure to share it with us. Thank you so much for watching today and I hope you have an absolutely amazing day. Bye.